Concord free to play rumors surfaces as Firewalk Studios updates PC game files. Sweet Baby Inc. CEO Kim Belair gaslights fans and plays the victim in new video. Xbox rebrands Halo in a desperate attempt to save the franchise. And Until Dawn Remake does worse than Concord. Welcome back to Fan TV, where we love to dissect the latest video game disasters in this woke video game industry while it's enjoying some slice of life moments from nerd culture. If you happen to enjoy what we do here, level up your support by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. It may or may not unlock a bonus piece of free DLC content that I guarantee you do not want to miss at the end of this video. Concord. Free to play rumors surface as Firewalk updates PC game files. Hmm. Michael Harrodin's over at PSU. Concord was pulled offline only a few weeks after launch, but there's been speculation this week that Sony may be looking to relaunch the game as a free to play title after developer Firewalk Studios has been making changes with the game's files on the Steam backend. Reddit users have been sharing images of the Steam's database for Concord with activity logged as a recent as of October 8th. This has got a lot of people hoping that Concord is being prepped for a relaunch as a free to play game. Guys, we live in a world where by $400 million flops like Concord get a second chance while his masterpieces like Bloodborne and Sleeping Dogs don't. <laughs> If this rumor turns out to be true, the only way I see Concord making a comeback and becoming a success is if they do away with every single woke trope that is in the video game, tighten up the gameplay, and completely change the character model. Basically walk in the footsteps of the first descendant. Because <laughs> the way I see it, one of Concord's major Achilles heel was its bad reputation brought on by it embracing woke features and DEI. So if they can create a new reputation for themselves whereby they have attractive character models and the gameplay looks fun, I think they would have more success in the second time around. <laughs> You're a victim! Oh. Mm. Paul! Your intellect is as weak as your dollar. Failure is your destiny. You disrespect yourself and your nation. You are made of stupid. Uh, I, I collect skulls and taxidermy, and I also really like playing a lot of video games, uh, including Elden Ring. By day, uh, I am the crazed CEO of Sweet Baby Inc., the DEI-obsessed censorship mafia who is currently ruining and wokeifying all of the video games that you've ever played. Thank you. This statement sets the tone for the entire presentation. In no way does she acknowledge why she's getting such criticism, why the gaming industry doesn't like her. It's just, oh, woe is me. People hate me. The gamers are just so toxic. Oh, woe is me. Um, if you're a creative working in AAA, which I did for many, many years, um, put this stuff up to your higher ups. And if they don't see the value in what you're asking for when you ask for consultants, when you ask for research, go have a coffee with your marketing team and just terrify them with the possibility of what's going to happen if they don't give you what you want. A sweet baby ink presentation resurfaced. I'm a narrative designer and sensitivity reader with a company called Sweet Baby Ink. Cool, but why am I here? Just so we're clear, this is a real slide. We want cooler stories, a safer world, burning the game industry to the ground. Why are you the way that you are? And you know what guys, I wanted to give this lady a chance to not just jump on her like everybody else is, baby all in hand, no ditty. But after watching the full 21 minute presentation, it honestly was just a waste of time. Instead of using this opportunity to try and vindicate herself and sow seeds of doubt within gamers heads, the only thing that she manages to do is to prove that gamers were right about her the entire time. The only part where I can sympathize with her is when she said that she was receiving allegedly death threats, you know, and no one really deserves that. Instead of sending death threats, just vote with your wallet. That's by far the best response. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. <laughs> Look like I ain't doing shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> In my case, it's when the last squad is wiped out by the ring when they're about to wipe us all out. Annabelle, Fort Carson, Colorado. Been no train there. Seven months. Yeah. <laughs> Hold it on the mother right now. <laughs> oh. No, it's not a voice modifier, that's my voice. <laughs> Got some depth to it. Nice. You see guys, this is why I don't play Call of Duty anymore, man. I mean, you're playing against actual war veterans now. I mean, what chance could you possibly have? I never said thank you. And you'll never have to. Uh, you know, a lot of the games have just disappointed over the years. And now we have... 343 Industries renaming to Halo Studios. And that's supposed to make all the difference in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Halo Studios, everything's changed. Everything's getting back to the basics. We're going to use Unreal Engine. Everybody's excited. Everybody's hyped. Until you find out that the chief of staff is uh, a person that puts identity politics first and foremost. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. You know, I'm convinced that when you are fighting the woke mind virus, the only way that you win is if entire studios and companies come crashing down to the ground because of this woke nonsense. The woke mind virus cannot be reasoned with. It doesn't matter how many studios shut down and close around them. They will still continue to peddle this filth up until it's their turn to get shut down. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I refuse to fund the lifestyles of activists that hate me. They spit on your face and then they expect you to put money in their pocket. Ta. No, 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 no. It's actually sort of mind-blowing that Sony thought remaking and selling an interactive movie was going to make them a boatload of cash, and the exact opposite has happened because Until Dawn on PS5 has debuted with less players than Concord, and it is struggling when it comes to user scores because of how disappointed gamers are. <laughs> Sensational. I mean, guys, I don't get it, man. Like, who the hell is the one in charge of picking these titles, guy? Because this guy doesn't know crap. How the hell do you remake Until Dawn, an interactive movie? That's like remaking Detroit Become Human and then selling it for $70. And then at the same time, that product also is buggy and it crashes. Ay, guy, ay, guy. I mean, guys, the gaming industry, it really needs a kick to the balls, man. They need a reality check. I pay these niggas with a reality check. We do have one more thing. Why does multiplying two negative numbers equal a positive number? Doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make no sense, obviously. Turn around. Turn around again. What the fuck? I'm facing the same direction. Okay, but then why doesn't multiplying two positive numbers equal a negative number? Don't turn around. Don't turn around again. What the fuck? I'm facing the same direction.